doors. Hold on. All right, doors. Oh, all right, doors locked. Right. Hello, hello, hello. What is going on, everybody? I am in the lovely Catskill Mountains of New York. And I have to register, so give me a second. Alright. Huh. All good. Hasn't been anyone back here in a while. Looks like I may actually be by myself. I'm gonna be, uh, I'm gonna be following the blue over there. Uh, as soon as I can find somewhere to cross. Everything's running high right now. Like I was gonna say before, we uh, oh, last night and this morning, man, some big rain, big rains came through here. Yeah. So uh, I'm about a mile, 1.1 miles in right now. I uh, figured I just want to stop for a few minutes. The first 0 .8, 0 0.85 miles is basically all uphill, so you are climbing the entire time, and everything was wet, so I stepped in a couple of nice-sized puddles with my non-waterproof shoes on. It's all good. As you can see, I got the Atmos out this time. I was going to bring the Exos, but after I started packing, I just realized, especially with this, because uh, I want to be able to put this in the bag if it rains or something. Uh, I kind of needed the extra room. Uh, and the other reason is because I do have my bear vault with me. Yeah, so this trip out, this is the new toy that I'm playing with this time. This is the uh, Canon Rebel SL2. Uh, it's actually a two-year-old model camera. I'm just sitting here at the top of the hill now. I've got another little climb coming up right here. So I'm gonna grab some. Uh, I'm gonna grab some jerky out of there and chew on that. I'm carrying. Uh, I'm carrying the little Sony action cam now, handheld, because this is all mounted here. So forgive me if there's any weird noises in any of the clips. That would be my fingers probably rubbing all over the body of this thing. Yeah, and the reason why I'm not really filming all that much while I'm actually hiking. Listen. Hear that? Yeah, that's the reason why. I don't want to have every single clip with a squeaking noise in it. So, kind of trying to just film a little bit here and there. And when I stop, which hasn't been much. <laughs> well, here we go. This is the highest point on this whole hike. 
to just shy 3,200 feet. So it would be like right here. <sighs> yep. If I don't go over the slide on Sunday and hike that, then this is the highest point right here. This is the highest point on this hike. Okay, we are at the junction. Uh, used to be a sign there, not anymore. Uh, red this way. This is actually the way I'm going to be coming back tomorrow. So I'll be coming up this way and then back up that way. Uh, for now, though, I got about 3.4 miles uh, that way to get down to the pond, and then that probably is where I'm going to end it for today. Uh, we'll see, though. I gotta, I gotta see what the camping is like once I get down there. Ooh, now the bugs are starting to get bad. Ah, all day, all day. I haven't been dealing with any bugs in this one little spot here, though. The breeze died down right in this little, this little kind of depression. And, uh, yeah, they're swarming now. I'm like 1.2 miles away from that split with the red trail. Still heading down towards the pond. I gotta tell you, I've been moving terribly slow today. And it's not, like, my health or anything. It's this trail. Parts of this trail? Huh. Huh. Oh, boy. Parts of this trail are a little dicey, let me tell you. And I've been screwing around with this, you know, and oh, oh man, it's just... Once you get a camera like that, I mean, you're stopping at every little plant, you're taking pictures of everything, you're shooting video with it. What's going on over here? There's like a little... Oh yeah, get him! Get him, get him! Get him! Oh, come on, you had him! It's pretty cool. Here. The whole landscape is just oh, incredibly beautiful. All the moss covered rocks and stuff. Oh, so nice. So glad we're getting a really good weather window this weekend. So I really hope other people around here in the Northeast are getting out this weekend. Because this is the one to do it. Wow. That was fun to navigate. <laughs> Man, that's a big tree. Whew. And the trail comes right here. I would have had to almost crawl on my stomach to get through there. So I hopped over around the side. Whew. See, this is the reason why it's taking so long to get there. Every time I start getting some good speed, I gotta slow down again because of something like that. I just stopped, took a look at the map real quick, and uh, got, uh, got about one and a half miles left. And then we're down at the pond. Still got a good amount of sunlight. Should be down there well before the sun sets. And then it's just a matter of finding somewhere to camp. That, I don't know too much about. Well, well, well. What is that? Look at that right there. That's a whole lot of bright stuff that far down on the horizon, isn't it? You know what that means. That's water. And we are basically here. <laughs> Haven't seen a single yellow disc sight yet. Not a one. Nice bridge right there. Water source. Oh yeah, I did come up and over that mountain on my way here. I didn't even say anything about that, did I? <laughs> Sorry. Alright, so this 
I'm almost positive this is like a loop trail. Kind of goes around. Let's go down here though. Let's go check this out. Oh yeah. Yeah, here we go. <clears throat> oh yeah. Oh, this is gorgeous. Reminds me of Faro Lake. Oh, beautiful. All right, I just I just gonna need to find somewhere to camp now. That's it. So, I don't know if maybe I should... Maybe I should head off this way, because I... Uh, you know what? I gotta consult my map. Water's refilled, so I've got two liters, so that should be enough for tonight, cooking, tomorrow morning breakfast, and just something to drink. Found a site, it's old, and I am 100% positive that it is not legal. Um, the only thing is, you know, it's getting late, it's getting late. Maybe I'll drop my pack right here for five minutes and I'll just kind of scout around. Something's telling me this is not gonna, this is not gonna work. Not here. Uh, I knew I should have went the other way on that loop. Yeah, I can hear people all the way down there. It looks like there's a campground there. I see a tarp and stuff. Maybe what I'll do is I'll hike back and I'll come down over in this area on the other side and see if I can find something over there. It's going to be dark though. Oof, it's going to be dark on that side. But uh, let's go look. i got to find somewhere to camp. I guess worst comes to worst. I'll come back here and do what I said, which is just tuck myself back up in there. Oops. Should probably bring my GPS, huh? See where that dead tree is kind of on that side? That's how far I went on that side. And I didn't find anything. On this side, the trail went up into the woods, and then at some point I couldn't even see the pond anymore. And I still couldn't find any sights back there. Since there is a fire ring here, I mean, I can't have a fire if I'm going to... don't want to, but what am I going to do? <sighs> i got my dinner. It's heating up. I'm sitting right there. Coffee's made. My feet are airing out. Oh, it feels good to get those shoes off. <laughs> Pack's over there for now. I'll move it over here before I go to sleep. And I still gotta get my air pad. I still gotta get my air pad inflated. And I don't know if you can see lights, because there's a road back there. That's why there's that canopy there. I Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, that's it. Maybe I'll be back in a bit. Mm. Need a dose. Mm. Mm. Mm.
Osprey just flew by. He must have been sitting in a tree back over here. I didn't even realize it. I'm sitting here eating, and I hear the flapping. I don't know what the heck was that? And I could see him through the tree right there. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, there, 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 there. It just went by again. Honestly, I think that was an eagle. I guess I should start packing up. It's going to take me probably about 20 minutes to pack everything, so... I guess I should get started, and then I gotta go head back over that way uh, to where I got water yesterday, and I gotta refill my bottles again. <clears throat> so that'll be another 20 minutes, 25 minutes of filtering water. With any luck, I'll actually get hiking within an hour or so. <laughs> if I can get my lazy butt moving, because it's very, very nice here, and I just kind of want to chill and stare at the water like I have been doing. Alright, almost there. Almost done. Still haven't found my tent spikes and I still haven't found my thermometer. So... I honestly don't know what happens. Man, he's up there somewhere. He was in the tree back here before. There he goes. Maybe I'll have better luck once I get down to where I gotta get water. Because there is that one little spot where you can kind of get right down. Like looking straight up this way. And I have a feeling he's sitting in these trees back here. So I'm gonna get over there and uh, maybe with any luck I'm gonna get this guy on a... I'm gonna get this guy in a video. I hope. We are packed up. Packed up and ready to roll. I will leave in 10 minutes, 10 minutes. I'm just gonna sit here and enjoy this beautiful view for another 10 minutes. I don't even have time to get my other camera. That is a bald eagle. Yep, that's a bald eagle. Nice. Oh, there goes another one. Oh, he's fishing. Packed up and uh, on we go. Gotta go get water, see if I can get these, uh, see if I can get some pictures of these bald eagles. That's it. And then seven point something miles out. I just heard those people. I didn't realize how close to the trail I was right here. It's like right back behind those trees there. liters of water filtered so I'm basically ready for the hike out now I want to see if I can get somewhere where po possibly No eagles. I looked, I watched, gave it about 15 minutes. So, I took a look for my tent spikes over there and I did not see them. So, something's telling me that switching backpacks two hours before I got on the road 
is probably not the best idea <laughs> because I have a feeling I didn't pack them. Eh, whatever. I didn't actually need them for this trip, so it's all good. Well, I got here a lot faster than I thought I was going to. Of course, I can't read any of the signs. So, but this split right here, I'm going to be following these orange now. All the way. Up. These are snowmobile trails right here. Man, these things are flooded like crazy. Ooh, took a little bit getting through here. It was like that for like the last two tenths of a mile. All right, up we go. Actually, I'm probably gonna pop my pack off real quick and just check the map. Just make sure I'm going the right way. I think I'm about to get a chain so I'll come out here and just maintain these trails myself. Ooh. God, there's some there's some big trees across this trail. Go check that out. Let's go see. Oh, stop. <laughs> Okay. Well, I don't know. Uh, I don't know which way I have to go right now. I gotta get my map out and figure this out. I don't need any, but I probably should top my one bottle off. Oh yeah, this is flowing nice. Oh, oh. Oh yeah. Yeah, that's flowing pretty good. Well, well, well. What is this? I think this is that four-wheel drive road I saw on the map. I might have to stop for a second. That was a costly mistake. I should not have come this far to hit this road. I missed the trail junction. There was no sign for it. 0.4 miles back that way. <laughs> I'm almost positive this is the road I was not supposed to get to. It actually, it ends pretty, not too far up the road from here, probably about a half mile up it ends. This goes down a long pond, which I do not want to go to. Well, this ain't good, boys. Uh... I hit that road when I was up that way. Uh, it was 0.4 to the junction of the trail from that road to where I needed to go. I am now about 0.6 or 0.7 back from the road. <laughs> so I have a feeling that there's probably a blaze down or something. But I mean, I've even been kind of scanning the ground and I just don't see anywhere where a trail cuts up there. Now I got a huge decision to make. Do I keep putzing around over here trying to figure out where the split is? Or do I now hike all the way back down to the pond and come back the way I came? I'm gonna get down to this bridge over here. I'm gonna get this pack off again, get the map out, and uh, try to figure out who screwed up. If it was me or just the state of New York, not having properly blazed trails. Uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna see. I started hiking at 9.15 this morning. It's now 20 after one. And guess where I'm going right now? Right back to the bridge where I got water this morning. Alright, 
So the big camera's in my backpack now. I'll put the little Sony back on the, back on the tripod. So we are back on the blue now. Starting to swing. 6.2, whatever. Back down to the Jeep. Since I already did this part of the trail yesterday and filmed most of it coming in, I'm just going to concentrate on making my miles right now and uh, putting this thing away until I get back to the trailhead. That's it. It was bound to happen eventually. I was just coming over that log right there and there was a branch kind of sitting weird. Uh, brought my foot over, got caught, went down, and the lens went right into a rock. So I don't know if you can see it. I guess that's the end of this camera if that's it. Wow. That's going to suck if I just destroyed this camera. This is where I should have came out, probably two and a half, three hours ago. <laughs> now I gotta go off this way. Ah, oh, there it is, Salvation Bridge. <laughs> made it back before the sun went down. Unbelievable. Alright. That's it. Signed out. Jeep is right there. Yeah. Yeah, give me a few minutes. Whew. Nice breeze here. That's it. Trip's over. It is uh, 8.44. So, the whole fiasco today started at 9 o'clock this morning. <laughs> so I've been hiking almost non-stop since 9 o'clock this morning. Catskills, New York. Big Indian wilderness. Uh, that's it. We're done. As usual, we're done, we're done.